Hi everyone, this is Nabila with Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. And today I'm going to show you how you can create product feeds for Pinterest. Now, you might be wondering why you should sell your WooCommerce product on Pinterest, right? Let me tell you why. People on Pinterest are nearly 50% more likely to be open to new brands while shopping. And once they find a brand they like, they're more loyal towards it. So, if you start promoting your product on Pinterest, there's a high chance that you're more likely to get better sales in no time. So, let's get into today's tutorial. So, to create product feeds for Pinterest, you need to have Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. I've already done that and now I'm going to go to my product feed. Now, you can hover over product feeds and add a new feed right from here. So, if I click on it, it takes me to this specific dashboard. Now you can add a product feed title here. So let's say my title is Pinterest for WooCommerce. So once I do that, now I have to select my merchant from here. So if I click on this, you can see that I already have some popular merchants listed here. So here is the Pinterest. So if I click on it, you can see that the default uh, product attributes that is required for the Pinterest shop is already here. So you can see that the first required attribute here is the product ID. Then the second one is product title. So you can optimize your product title from here or you can just keep it as it is. Now this is filtered as a default. So I'm not going to change it because I need to have my product titles specified on Pinterest as they are in my WooCommerce shop. Then we have the product description. Now this attribute is filtered as strip tags and remove tab. Now if I scroll down, you can see that this next one is product URL. So this is really important. Then we have the main image, which is assigned valued as featured image of the product then we have the regular price now you can edit this if you want your pinterest feed to have the regular price as sale price you want to uh, start promoting your products with a sale price so that people come into your shop more you can do that as well so i can change it to sale price or i can keep it with the regular price and you can see that you have the option to select regular price with tax you have many other pricing options here so let's keep it as sale price then we have the stock status so if i edit this you can see that i have some options here like availability you can add the availability without score you have the option to availability back order equals to in stock you can choose whichever you want for now i want to keep the availability as it is and here you can add new attributes from here as well so you can choose the attribute you want to have in your feed. Now that could be anything. You can add additional images. You can add videos. You can add, let's say, Facebook override. You can also add GTIN, MPN if you need that. You can add gender. You can add material. So these are pretty famous for Pinterest. So you can add these options as well. But I'm just going to keep it as it is. I'm just going to go ahead and show you some other options we have, which is product filters. So if you click here, you can add custom filters from here. Now, let's say your product title contains a specific value, let's say winter. And then you can include that product in your uh, feed or you can just exclude it. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to show you the other option we have, which is the feed rules. Now, if you select, let's say product title in the same one as, let's say winter, then you can change the product title to something specific attribute from here, or you can add or replace this specific product title to something else. So you can manipulate your product title, pricing, and whichever attribute you want so that's pretty convenient 
so once you edit everything i'm not going to edit here anything so you can go ahead and publish this feed now let me show you how the feed looks so if you click on the view feed you can see the feed from here if you go back you can download the feed from this option as well so that's about it for today's tutorial if you have any questions let us know in the comment box i'll see you in my next video until then take care